Kendra and I'm back with another video. And this video is going to be another hair review. I was sent hair from West Kiss Hair. Um, they sent me a wig to review. So if you want to see what they sent me, then stay tuned. Okay, so they sent me a curly bob wig. I think it is 12 inches. So when you get your package, it comes in this bag. You get your wig and you get a wig cap and you get instructions on how to take care of the wig and then an elastic band if you want to sew it um, on the inside yourself. And that's pretty much it. Um, so this is what the wig comes in and out. So it has the little lunch net, lunch lady net on it, paper inside. Very secure, very secure. Get all this out. Okay, so the lace is like this light brown color, or is it transparent? Yeah, I don't know the difference between light lace and just transparent lace. Um, but it does have a comb, three combs in it, and then adjustable straps in the back. And like I said, this is 12 inches, it's 13 by four, I think. Yeah, 13 by four lace. And this is in their Brazilian curly. So I'm just gonna try it on for you guys real quick before I install it. So it is a nice fit and a nice length. I think this is so cute. This is probably the shortest curly wig I have. I know they were trying, they well, they asked me what I wanted. I had a choice between I think 10 and 14 inches and I was like well I already have a 14 inch wig and I know 10 is gonna be too short so I, I went for the 12 inch and I like it I actually might wear this in the middle part one day I don't like middle parts on me but because I'm gonna put this in a side part but it is actually really cute in the middle part now that I'm looking at it so I'm just trying to see real quick first off let me show you how far the parting goes like I said it's 13 by 4 I think I don't think that's six inches apart. I think that's about four, right? I think it's four, pretty sure it's four. If not, it'll be down in the description box below what it is. Oh, I can tell it's gonna, it can get really big. Middle parts are cute if the hair is right length. So another thing real quick. So I know like in another video I complained about I was getting bobs, but I also like don't like bob wigs because I feel like I never get the right length. And now I'm starting to realize that maybe 12 inches is the right length as far as curly hair and like a 10 inch or an 8 inch is the right bob length. I don't know if it's like my neck isn't long enough, but like bobs are always either too long that I try to cut them and then it look a mess. I literally, every bob wig y'all have seen me review on my channel, I've messed it up. Like, I just don't wear it no more. It's just in my hair stash. Um, I mean, I might go in and like recut them and revamp them. So if y'all want to see a revamp video, then let me know. But yeah, this is the 12 inch. So let me see if I can part it on this side and what it will look like. Yeah, I'm definitely doing a side part. So I'm trying to see how deep I can get it. And I don't want to do a lot of, oh, let me, let's look at the hairline first. Y'all, I know I don't pluck my wigs, so I don't know. The hairline. the hairline is not pre-plucked, but it's not super dense either. So you could probably get away with some stuff. Like if I went like this, okay, I think it has baby hairs. No, I ain't no damn baby hairs. Yeah, I'd be trying to lie on these companies. So if you did want to go in and pluck it, you definitely can. But y'all know me, I don't really pluck my wigs like that. Girl, that's just too much. I don't feel like doing all that. And this hair is sticking to my lip gloss. So anyways, let me go back to what I was trying to do. So I was trying to see if I can do a side part and what it would look like. And I think once it's defined and stuff, I think that would be, that'd be cute. I can't tell, maybe that's too much to the side. Let's try over here. Maybe, maybe I should install it first and then play with it. I think a side part would be cute. Yeah, I think a side part would be cute. 
Okay, cool. So, uh, let's go over shading. It's already shading, and I haven't cut anything yet. Um, so let's run my hands through all of it. Lots of shedding, which is okay. It's curly hair. It happens. But, um, yeah, lots of shedding. So, I mean, not, it's not unbearable, but let me bow it up so y'all can see. That is how much shedding. So, it's not a lot, but you know, whatever. So, I'm really excited because I want to try this for the longest because you guys know I don't um, pluck my wigs, bleach my knots, none of that stuff. Because, number one, I don't know how, number two, because I'm lazy. So, I went and got some Sally Hansen airbrush legs spray on tan spray and deep glow and i'm going to spray the knots so that they look kind of bleached even though i have makeup on my um stocking cap i still wanted to try it and just see what it looks like and see if that helps and make it look more natural before i go in and style the hair and all of that so i want to show you guys how i spray this on and then i'll come back after it's installed Sally Hansen spray went through and onto the hair, which I mean, it's not a big deal. Like I could wash it off, but it definitely got on my hair. So just be careful whenever you spray it. Um, but yeah, so now I'm about to try to get this off of my hair and then I'll be back once I install it.
emoji. emoji. emoji.